2013-14, an important season in the history of Wolverhampton Wanderers. Some may say it was a turning point in the club's history. After back-to-back -back relegations, it was a troubled time in 2013, with many Premier League players still on the wage bill. It was all about rebuilding the club and promotion, if possible, back to the Championship. There was only one pre-season signing, Sam Ricketts, who was immediately appointed club captain and would go on to become an instrumental part of the team in the club's eventual title win. The season started well, with five wins out of the first six fixtures, including a 4-0 demolition of Gillingham and a 2-1 win over Crawley Town in front of the Sky Cameras. It seemed as though everything was falling into place, but there had to be a time where the unbeaten run would come to an end. And that came to an end at the hands of local rivals Warsaw with a 1-0 defeat at Molyneux. That came shortly after the, after the penalty shootout win in the Johnston's Paint Trophy just a couple of weeks earlier. But credit to Wolves. They soon recovered with a run of three clean sheets in a row, um, backed up also by three wins in a row as well, uh, but that was eventually ended with a one-all draw against Coventry in mid-October. Like with any promotion or title winning season, you've got to take the rough along with the smooth. And that is definitely what the club experienced during the Christmas period, experiencing back-to-back -back defeats for the first time in the campaign and losing for the first time since mid-September. The club lost to Peterborough United and MK Dons respectively and endured a pretty hard Christmas period, drawing to Tranmere Rovers where both sides had a man sent off and also losing to Gillingham uh, early in the new year as well uh, where they previously had won 4-0 in the reverse fixture. The second half of the season was all about maintaining good start that the club had made to the campaign and they most certainly did that breaking as many records as possible and only losing one time during the second half of the campaign and only drawing three times as well which just shows the kind of run that the club went on and how emphatic in the fashion that they won the League One title. Some of the most memorable games during the second half of the season included a Good Friday game against Rotherham United where 10 goals were shared between the two teams in a 6-4 win for Wolves. I was at that game. That was an absolute classic. And there were many clean sheets during that time and throughout the season the defence maintained a good shape and only conceded 31 goals whilst scoring 80, 89 goals in the opposition's net. The season was capped off with a brilliant 3-0 win against Carlisle United and in turn sent Carlisle United packing for League 2.